Welcome back to another great video tutorial from PhotoshopTrainingForum.com where we show you how to use Photoshop as clearly and concisely as possible. In this video tutorial we're going to learn how to select and deselect the marquee tool that we used last time around. Now as you remember we were working on video number four we were working with the ellipse tool and the marquee tool and we learned how to select that and if you need to review that just go back to video number four at photoshoptrainingforum.com. I have all of them listed there. If you become a member, you get to see them for free. And uh, one thing I wanted to show you today was how to deselect. There's about four or five different ways you can deselect with the with this tool once you have it activated. Now let's select an area. And once again, you know, I'm just clicking and dragging my mouse button and you can select an area. Like I said, we went through all of that the last video, how to do it different ways. But there are ways of getting out of the using the ellipse tool. Let's say you have an area selected. Just to simply get out of it, all you have to do is click away from the area and it'll go away. That's the easiest way. There is another couple of ways and I recommend you learn all of them because you never know when they're going to come in handy. With this particular way you can hit Control D and that will deselect it also. So that's the second way you can get rid of your ellipse tool if you want to. And one last time the last way, and uh, one that I've used quite a bit, is to go up to the Select and then Deselect. And you can get rid of the Ellipse tool either of three ways. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to show you how to affect a change in a selected area. And uh, this is not very hard to do. The very first thing that we need to do is we need to go, and I want to go to a mode where we can see the whole picture so you'll have a better understanding of how we do this. So there's a couple of different ways you can reduce the size of your picture to where you can see the whole thing. In this case I can use my magnifying glass and hit the minus button and start minusing out of it. It'll get smaller, okay? There's an easier way if you want to get to the uh, full size of your picture so it will fit on the screen and you'll notice that once you hit the magnifying glass down here this changes. Watch what happens. I'll, I'll do it again so you can see. Let's go to a different uh, tool. You'll notice that when I pick the ellipse tool or the um, the marquee tool, it turns into this because this is all stuff that will affect the marquee tool. However, I'm using the magnifying glass. Watch it change again. Boom. So there it is. Now, this is where it gets real easy if you want to see your whole picture. All you have to do is there's three buttons, actual, pixels, fit screen, and print size. I want to hit the fit screen button. Watch what happens now there's my whole picture right there. So that's a real easy way of getting to your whole picture. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply a change to selected area. Now this is a picture of my son-in-law Colin. He's a very fine musician and uh, also a songwriter. So I'm going to use my elliptical tool. I'm just going to do a circle here. I don't want this part of his face to change, okay? I want to change everything else. So what we would do is we select that and then we'd go up here to where it says select. I want to select inverse which is everything else. So once again everything but this area is going to get affected. Okay. Now I'm going to use a thing over here called adjustment layer. We're going to adjust the entire layer and we're going to change all the colors in that layer. Okay. And you'll notice this little doohickey opens up, and I'm just going to show you how drastically uh, I can change the whole picture. Now you'll notice something. Everything outside of this was affected except for this. So it kind of looks weird like this, but, uh, but that shows you the power of being able to select the inverse and to use the marquee tool in such a manner. You can affect everything outside of what's inside that circle if you use the inverse. Now Consequently, if I had selected the just selected that, and I had uh, ch made this change in the adjustment layer, the only thing that would have been affected was right here. But because I selected inverse, I selected everything else, and that's a real easy way so you can understand the concept behind selecting an area and using the inverse. It's a real easy way of changing everything but what you want changed in the first place. If there's something that you don't want changed while you want everything else changed, all you have to do is choose the ellipse tool. This has been Mark Elmo Ellis with PhotoshopTrainingForum.com where we show you concisely and clearly how to use Adobe Photoshop. 
God bless and have a great day.